Hey there, how you going today? Or how's it going today? I'm trying to say two things at once that time. What a great way to start a video off. Anyway, today I am on my way to go in. I'm going to fuel up and uh, check out a couple of local communities that I haven't actually covered in detail before. Many of them you've probably seen as I've been riding through or whatever you get glimpses of. But today I am going to focus on Salt Pond, um, Lewins Cove, and Epworth. So if you're interested in seeing some sights from those areas, stick around because that's my plan today. I'm just going to go and coast through. If the weather is nice enough, wind-wise, I'm going to drop my, I'm going to drop, drop, take my drone out. Yeah, it's still early, even though it's afternoon. <laughs> Got to learn how to talk all over again. Anyway, enjoy the ride. So, this is Salt Pond. We'll go through the uh, business district of it first. Because I need gas, that's why. That's the home of the, uh, of the Bjorn football team. Many games played there. I'm, uh, I was never really a soccer fan, so I didn't really watch any. Eastern College in there. I went and did my business administration in there. Many, many moons ago. To the left, we got the Royal Canadian Legion. Branch 29. Cool. Father Bernie Memorial High School to the right that I graduated from, surprisingly. <laughs> my final years were a little rough, I think. And there you have the School for the Younger Kids, Donald C. Jameson, with Pierce Regional High in the background. That's the Bjorn Peninsula Healthcare Center to my right. No, I'm not going to do this the whole ride. I don't think I am anyway. It's hard to say though, because uh, some of you might be wondering, what's that building? Oceanic Cannabis Coffee to your right. Everything you need in cannabis, you can jump there. I get all mine all mine online. Only for that, I'd probably uh, I'd probably go there and buy some. But I have a prescription, and my provider is uh, is online, right? Anyway, I'm gonna fuel up. I'll chat with you in a bit. Well, according to my gauge, I'm good for another 440 kilometers. That's at this speed. I won't get that though. Usually close to 400, but I, uh, I tend to drive a little hard at times too, so uh, especially when it comes to passing on the, uh, on the highway. Used to come here every lunchtime. Have some wedge fries. Oh man, love those wedge fries. You got a nice walking trail along here. It's beautiful. I don't know if there's any uh, like nice little areas where you can pull in or have a coffee or something. It doesn't seem to be. That's disappointing. I was hoping that, uh, that you could do that. Now, I lived out here for a good 20 years and I'm not really sure the boundaries of Salt Pond when Salt Pond ends and Winterland begins. So I'm going to go up here and just do a quick turnaround. Well, that should answer my question there. Winterland, 10 kilometers. So this is all still Salt Pond. I'll probably go turn around where the old Brent Inn is, or used to be. Some memories from that place growing up with the teenage dances and uh, and even uh, college dances. We used to go there quite a bit after uh, a week of uh, business administration. My dad used to be a bouncer there many, many moons ago. Little kid on the quad, cool. Driving around the yard. 
So I wouldn't mind living in this way, but even in here, the houses are all so close. Like, there's like no, it's like you're afraid to live apart. I guess there's more to do with uh, availability of property and people wanting to make as much money as they can out of the sale of a, I don't know, if you can sell three lots, why would you sell two? That kind of a thing. And I think it used to be in this way, if I remember correctly. But anyway, here's where I'm going to turn around. Not the nicest spot. No, it wasn't in this way. And these roads. They make me nervous. Not nervous, just more wary and cautious. So yeah, I went to school with a lot of people from Salt Pond. I mean, the school itself is in Salt Pond, so of course you would. We had our high school graduation in by the Brent Inn. If you go all the way into this trail, well, part of the graduation, we had this huge bonfire set up and a couple of the guys had their guitars and we, uh, we were there until probably five in the morning. So we did a safe grad thing and uh, we were out all night it was a nice, it was a nice occasion. So this is pretty much it for Salt Pond. I might find a spot here now in a minute to park and uh, get my drone up. They'll get a clip of Salt Pond itself. Maybe I'll go over by the old restaurant and park. Actually, up by the Legion, there's parking. All right, I got a little library where you can borrow a book and replace the book, that kind of thing. Nice walking trails. I feel like I'm going back and forth and back and forth. To people who don't know the area, you're probably uh, don't really notice the difference. But for people living here, like, what the heck is this guy doing? Is he drunk? Well, I'll go park here and bring, set my drone up. So this is the Salt Pond walking trail. I should have did hyperlapse so I'll get there quicker. And no, I'm not going to be walking it today. But sometime when I come out, I might. And I just want to show you the entrance way. This property is protected by video surveillance. Cool. Alright. Instead of walking it, I'm going to fly it. Headlights on the highway If you only knew Being back here Always makes me think of you
Enjoyed that little tour of Salt Pond area. Off to Lewins Cove now. Check that place out. So all this part here is still part of uh, Salt Pond. We got to go through this to get to uh, Lewins Cove. I remember one winter when I was a teenager, all this froze over, and we used to cross from Bjorn Bay Arm all the way over to Lewins Cove. And here we are, Bienvenue à Lewins Cove. So now we're officially in Lewins Cove territory. And like the majority of uh, communities around, there's not really a lot here to uh, to show off. Like there's not many landmarks. There's not many. Uh, I don't know there's no monuments. There's no attractions. I guess they got the the provincial park here. Uh, actually, or it used to be provincial park, Fresh Pond. That's uh, that's quite popular during tourist season and camping season. <laughs> Little guy crossing the road on a quad. Didn't think, uh, <laughs> pretty sure he's underage. I shouldn't say that out loud though. But in order to cross the road, I know on quads legally, you need to have your driver's license and insurance and all that stuff. Where will I stop to tell you? Actually, I might stop here and uh, get my drone up. Actually, now it's too many people around. I'm gonna find somewhere else. Actually, back there might have been the best spot. That's what happens when I second guess myself. Go back, hang out in the playground, capture a few drone clips. So once I get past this little area up here, it all opens up again and turns into uh, salmon ear. Then after that, it's, or big salmon ear, I should say, not salmon ear, because salmon ear, the community's over that way. I meant big salmon ear. Actually, that's even further than Epworth, so I don't really know what I'm talking about here right now. Anyway, I'm gonna turn around, go back, and get my drone clips. Since I found a bit of pavement.
Nobody coming. We're good. Used to spend quite a bit of time over here as well as a teenager. We always walked. We always hitchhiked everywhere. Sometimes we'd use our bicycles. But it'd take you several hours to get where you're going. But once you got there, you're good. I don't know where everybody lives anymore. Because I remember like Dave Bassler, for example, used to live along here somewhere. I think that has actually. It's kind of got a deja feeling about it. Deja vu feeling. And yes, my mind is all over the place right now. Like, I feel like I need to say things just to fill in the blanks. <laughs> is this it? Yeah, there we go. Should be good enough. All right here. I wonder how many other people actually took drone footage of Lewin's Cove. I'm probably the only one. But that's my plan. I want to go around different communities and just showcase them. No matter how brilliant they might be, they might be something that's popular like, say, Petty Harbor, or it could be something like Lewin's Cove. Not to knock Lewin's Cove, but it's a... Uh, Anyway, my point is I'm just trying to capture all Newfoundland has to offer. That's my goal. I just want to show you this place, that place, the next place, and more places. Please don't beat around the bush and I don't want to push but you're making this hard. I know something's going on There's dishes in the sink And trash in the front yard Tell me what can I do Do I go for a walk Should I stay with you I'm tired of sitting on my hands Watching what I love Wilt like a houseplant Do you feel alone in our home? Cause I feel alone in our Seems like just the other day I'd see your face and know what to say Now I'm staring at the ground Stepping over eggshells spread all around So tell me what can I do Do I tiptoe around to pick up a broom Can we sweep up this mess or did we make a minefield out of our dress Nice house. Love to live in one of these properties along here. There's a lot of properties I'd like to live on other than my own. <laughs>
And yes, all of this is still salt pond. Or not, sorry, Lewin's Cove. <laughs> Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is still considered Loon's Cove over this way or not. Anyway, next stop is going to be Epworth. So, this is where Loon's Cove ends, Big Salmon Ear. I was right when I was saying that back there. So, we have exited. Lewin's Cove. Right in here to the right is the Salvation Army Cemetery. My grandparents are buried in there. Even though I'm not Salvation Army, I'm Catholic actually. My mom is Catholic, I'm Salvation Army, that's the way we were raised. Although I'm no longer really that religious. <laughs> I should. Damn, I always ruin it with these talks about religion and politics. All right, I'm gonna shut up now and enjoy my ride. All right, here's the turn off for Epworth and Corbin. Though we won't be going to Corbin, not on this thing, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Corbin, you need a quad or an ATV or a side by side or just hike it. Somebody got the whole graveyard to themselves by the looks of it. <laughs> I missed what it said on that sign. Maybe when I get back and watch it later, I can pause and see. Maybe there are only two people of that religion. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Epworth. Another one of the more scenic communities around the Buren Peninsula. Love coming out here. I usually come out at least once a year for a ride out to this spot. go out to the right first and then on the way back I'm going to uh, go over to that wharf and hang out over there not sure how far I can go this way uh oh bad luck can't cross in the road. Black one. Not sure which way to go. Go it this way. I think that's as far as I'm going. But there's your view. Nice view from up here, hey? And over there, that wharf, where that truck is, is where I'm heading. Hopefully there's nobody there, because I want to put my drone up, and I don't like doing it when there's people around. What's going on here? Get 
the military out. Quiet life out here, I'm sure. Then again, every community has a noisy person. <laughs> it's, there's always someone around the room in peace and quiet. Funny how all the smaller communities are older communities, the roads are so narrow. Attacked by the dogs. <laughs> They're going to sit here and fly my drone for a little bit. What a beautiful spot they got here, right? Grace and Ruth. What a view. All the way over there is Bjorn Bay. I used to live there. You can see a prominent white building about two-thirds of the way to the right or one-third to the left, depending on how you're looking. Just below that, to the left a bit, is where I used to live. Alright, time for a coffee and drone. Tomorrow there's no time to 
I was a little anxious doing those drone clips because the harbor is so quiet and all you can hear is my drone buzzing. I hate disturbing people and I can only imagine people out sitting around hearing that bzzz, <laughs> wondering what the heck is going on. But either way, I hope you enjoyed them. I'm sure I will when I get back and look at them. All right, time for coffee. Oh, that's all the water I got on me, lucky. Half tempted to drink because I'm thirsty too. But I'm here for a coffee. Gotta make a coffee. Because my other one is empty too. I think I'm gonna switch sides so that way I'm facing the ocean instead of looking in at the, uh, at the land. I can do that in a second. Get this set up first. These little canisters of propane last quite a while when all you're doing is uh, boiling coffees with them. Although I did cook one steak with it. I probably used half a canister. <laughs> all right, it's enough there for a sip. Oh no, I lost my lid. And it's gone, because it fell down between the uh, boards on the wharf. I feel bad now, because I'm very, Cautious about picking up after myself whenever I uh, am out making something. Like no, no trace behind is my rule. Leave no trace. That's it. There, the view is better for me, but not so much for you. All right, I can be a tourist attraction for a five minutes. It's like perfect timing. So you pour the uh, grinds. Coffee's ready. Just enough. All right, it's time for the taste test, but I can't do it there. I gotta get up, move around, and find a scenic. There, I'll do it with my, whole, my old hometown in the background, with Bjorn Bay in the background. Cheers. Flavor's good, again, too hot. I don't need to keep repeating that anymore, do I? I'm almost at the point where I'm scared to take that sip because I know how hot that first uh, sip is going to be. The third sip is usually pretty good. Beautiful here, isn't it? I'm going to have a seat there now in a minute. Put my lid on, I think, and I will have a seat. Yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Cheers again. 
third sip is always the best. Except for beer. The first three gulps are always the best. Or four. All I can hear is the flags in my background, to my left, flapping. To the right, I got these little birds chirping. Behind me, I got crows crowing. And beneath me, I can hear the water gently lapping off the bottom of the boat and against the wharf. That's all the sounds I need. I don't need to be hearing neighbors going <laughs> or under speaker phones. <laughs> <laughs> or their stereos cranked, or their lights blaring. Is it so hard to get peace? It's not hard, I guess. I can always come out to places like this, but I'd like to live in peace, not just have to go out and visit it every now and then. I swear that wasn't me. That was the boat. <laughs> you can't get any better than this. This is like the perfect spot to sit and enjoy the view. There, I'll share you my view. This is what I'm looking at the whole time. You guys get to see my face. <laughs> I'm staring at this beautiful scenery. Old houses, old wharves, old buildings. Rickety fences. Nice lush green meadows. Fields full of green trees. And all you guys get to do is stare at my face drinking coffee. I'm sure there's other things you could be doing besides this. You could be out filming your own coffee shop or coffee boil up or whatever you want to call it. Coffee ride. All gone. Time to pack up and Get back on the bike, head back to Fox Cove to hang out with my parents, especially my dad today because it's Father's Day. So I like to hang around there as much as possible instead of uh, being out on the go. But he's busy right now, so it was a perfect time to come out for a ride and capture clips of a few places that are on my bucket list to capture clips from. Because I've actually had somebody ask me, how come you haven't done salt pond yet? So now I got salt pond done and Loon's Cove and Epworth. Next time I'm out, I might tackle Marystown. That's probably what my plan is. See, it's kind of, not boring, but, actually I can't say boring because every community is different. I just don't like the, like if I'm doing, say for example, another row, another community down the southern shore. Like, as I keep doing them, I gotta keep progressively going further, which means covering the same ground over and over every couple of days. That part I don't like. I like getting at the destination and uh, and exploring. I just don't like the, uh, I need to be like a Jetsons future kind of thing where you can just energize and you're there. All cleaned up, as you can see, leave no trace behind. Boys had a few. <laughs> it's nice, a little recycling bucket there. For anybody who wants to sit there and have a little Wobbly pop. Back to the bike. Yay, see you on it.
that little cemetery I've seen on the way in is coming up there now. I must, uh, I'm curious now, see if, if I can see anything that indicates Bible Believers Association Incorporated. So that's it. I guess it's private property. No hunting, trespassing. Yes, first I've seen that. To the left is St. Lawrence. Next time, maybe. No, next time is Mary's time. But I do want to do St. Lawrence as well at some point. There's a little swimming hole here on the right by this bridge that I used to uh, go to a couple times. And on the hill on the left, there's uh, a spot up there somewhere where we went uh, camping when I was in Sea Cadets. It was a good outing. It was a fun night, as every cadet outing usually is. I mean, you're young and you're away from your parents. You get to misbehave. <laughs> It was a good time though. You learned a lot socially and uh, and I guess professionally is the one way to put it. Lewin's Cove again. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to uh, sign off here. You listened to me enough today, you watched me enough today, you looked at me enough today, so uh, I think you need a break from me. <laughs> So anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing these communities as well as other communities I share. Feel free to subscribe if you want. Hopefully you do. And there's many other videos of, uh, of scenic communities around our province there to look at. Plenty of them. There's barrels of them. So I'm going to head home and uh, or to my parents' place, hang out with them. I'm repeating myself because I just realized I said all the same stuff in that last video back at Epworth. Makes for an exciting watch, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sign off now. Anyway, see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you got something out of it like I did. Four twenty. <laughs> it's almost that time. <laughs>